guys to the channel today we're talking about my budget camera travel bag as many of you ask which gear I use which camera I use which lens I use what's the good backpack for traveling so I hope today we're clearing off all these questions and from the beginning on I can tell you that I do not have a camera bag like a proper camera bag this is just a cheap military looking I think 50 milli 50 liters bag which I buy it on Amazon. You can find every single product down below in the description. Yeah, simply I don't have a camera bag because A, they are very expensive and B, most of them just don't fit my needs. I tested a lot of camera bags and all the expensive one, also the cheap one, just didn't satisfy me. I need enough space for my gear and I need enough space for all my Mm, daily essentials or things I need for traveling because it needs to be compact and in the size of the cabin bag so this is very important here we have this military looking backpack which has many of these loopholes which I really like because I can then attach my water bottle to the side it has many of these straps I attach here my tripod which I'm using right now and I can show you and a very cool thing is that it has a lot of good big pockets like military bags do have and it has like a secret pocket here on the bag where I can keep my documents and like my wallet stuff stuff which is valuable which no one um, should have access to when I wear this backpack in a public place and cannot watch it so this is pretty cool I also have I can everywhere attach some strings, things which uh, make my life easier. Opening up this backpack, you will notice that you can open it completely. So you just unleash the straps. It's really cool. This is what I needed in my backpack because if I'm traveling, I need to open it completely and not like try to find something down below on the very bottom and get some undies and then get my ND filter and whatsoever. So inside this backpack I have something really cool which is cheap as well. It's like 20 euros. This is this camera compartment cube where you can just safely store all this camera gear you have which you need to protect on your day trips and it doesn't matter which kind of backpack you have because it fits in every single one and I keep here all the batteries, my drone, the lenses, one camera with uh, the body and the lens, I keep here my GoPro, just all the things I actually own. So all my gear fits in it, it's amazing. My main camera is the Sony A7 III which is my workhorse for video and photo. Just both look really amazing, crisp, I love the image and everything you see on this channel and on Instagram is shot on this camera. It has 4K 24 megapixel built-in intervalometer for time lapses, long battery life, everything you wish you find in this camera and it is not super expensive for a top level camera. I am missing a flip out LCD screen and 4K 60 frames per second. This is something I miss, but I can work without it. What's next? Let's see, glass. So I use the 85 millimeters 1.8 for all my pictures. This lens is just amazing. It is so sharp, has a creamy, creamy bokeh. I just really love the lens. The fact that it is so small and cheap it's really a gem. I use it for every single picture you see on Instagram, on wherever, on the photo shoots. This uh, lens is just amazing. I even shoot landscape with it. Then I just stitch the pictures together. It's such a great lens. And then I have the Sony 16 to 35, which I'm shooting right now. I shoot with it all my videos, no matter what kind of video I shoot it with this lens, especially like big landscape or the hiking videos, no matter what, the wide view gives you really the feeling that you are there, that you're seeing all the scenery and it just makes this perfect focal length to give a good insight for the viewer. Other than that, it comes with a big price tag because it is f2.8 and I bought the f2.8 because I needed the low light performance because I plan to shoot astrophotography, especially back in New Zealand. We shot this really crazy Milky Way, which was a breathtaking experience for us. Yeah, 
you can choose the f4 option but if you want the quality and just keep the glass forever and stick with sony i would recommend just spending some more and getting the right thing what's next so we have the dji mavic air which i own for almost three years now i uh, flown it multiple times in different countries and i enjoy flying so much that i even bought a second battery flight time is around 21 25 minutes depends on the wind i am really satisfied with this drone as how compact it is how quick you can fold it unfold it and the image quality so it records 4k but i feel like it is fake 4k the image quality isn't great but it's good enough but other than that i can highly recommend this drone i'm not planning to buying any new drone anytime soon if this will not be gone or crash or whatever happens with that exactly what you need for budget light backpacking so what's next let's see we have my little action cam the gopro hero 8 this little bugger comes on every single trip with me if i in the kind in the case i need to do some street photography um i have this chest mount and then i just put it on on a chest and it stays here and records how I'm shooting. I don't know, it's a GoPro. You can't uh, say much about it, right? It's a small camera. Last but not least, I own one single filter. It's the Tiffin filter Pro Mist 1 4th. And why I'm using this filter? So actually it distorts your image and it gives a really cool glow when there is a sunset or some lights in the background i tried to use it for video for the santiago de compostela video i used it all the time and i have the feeling that on video this lens is not that great especially at daytime because it just unsharpens and destroys the video too much so i'm using this only for photo and then i bought step up rings you can choose i don't know just choose the cheapest one it's just step up rings there's nothing wrong they can do some extra batteries for the sony this is it for the little cube in there we then have the macbook pro 2018 one terabyte of storage 16 gigabytes of ram and this gives me all the power i need to edit all the videos and pictures might be testing the new macbook air with the m1 chip soon because I feel like these fans, they kick off pretty quick when I'm editing a video and it's pretty loud. And if the M1 chips are so much better that they can handle 4K video without any problem and overheating, this one does everything good. Good enough to keep it for many years. I'm very satisfied, 4K editing seamless and Final Cut Pro, um, editing all my images seamlessly, it's, it's amazing. And I really like it, put a case around it so I can glue this, I don't know what it's called, to it so I can put my hard drive on it so it just doesn't wingle around. But yeah, this is uh, what else I have. The last two things I keep in my backpack while I'm traveling is dust rocket, just to blow off all the dust inside my gear. My camera, the sensor, pretty much an essential you need in every single camera bag. If people ask what camera strap this is, this is simply an off-white belt and I DIY'd it with the mother of my girlfriend to a camera strap because I just really liked it. Some peak design clips and then you had to saw, if you see it's really raw. And simple done. So that's it for the camera part. For well, actually all my gear I own. I'm very minimalistic on my gear. I don't buy stuff which I don't need. And I also have the iPhone 11 Pro Plus with 512 gigabytes of storage as my second camera. So if I need something to film like myself with the camera, I do it with the phone. The image quality is good enough. Most people will not even notice that it was filmed on the phone until they hear the audio so the audio of the Rode mic pro plus which is on the camera right now 
is the big difference between the phone and this is actually the last piece of gear I have. I am in the in the Vergangenheit. <laughs> in the in the past I had the regular pro version of the microphone which is $70 cheaper but does not have the function of auto turning on when you turn on the camera. Um, if you can live with this I would go to the cheaper version. The sound quality is exactly the same in my opinion. I had both. Um, I had the problem that often I just forgot to turn on the microphone and I just had footage without any audio. So I upgraded to the Pro Plus version and I'm very happy about it because I do not need to worry about the audio anymore. If I turn on the camera and press play, the microphone will be recording as well. All right, this sums up all the gear I own. I hope this answers some of your questions. This video was really cool to make. It's my first time to do this what's in my back uh, camera video. I really like watching it from other people because then I see, ah, they use this camera with this setting to achieve this look they get in the pictures. So I hope this gave you some insights. You maybe saw something you like, you want to purchase yourself. In the description you find Amazon affiliate link. So if you buy something, I will get a kickback from it. It doesn't cost you any cent more. And if you want to help me out, press down below the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.